Hi everyone, welcome back to Love and Pieces. This is Suzanne. Thanks for stopping by my channel. A few months ago, I think now, I did an unboxing of the My Sweet Petunia Precision Glue Press. And at that time, I was so excited to get it. I I, I feel like I fell in love with this at first sight um, when I saw someone else using it and I just had to get it. And so that unboxing was a lot of excitement and, you know, I'm sure I'm going to love this. But now it's been a few months. I've had a chance to use it for card making, for crafting, for some Christmas presents, um, just getting a lot of things done. And so I wanted to come back on and do a review and maybe even kind of clear up at least one thing I know I said incorrectly um, in that first video. So this is the My Sweet Petunia Precision Glue Press. And let me, let me pause right here and say, it comes with Nouveau Glue. And that was one of the reasons I fell in love with it, because I love Nouveau Glue. That is my choice glue, the one I go to all the time. Um, but at the time I purchased this, I had also been looking for ways um, to get refill, you know, refillable bottles, get larger bottles, because the only way I knew to get the um, Nouveau glue was in the largest bottle I could find was like their two, two ounce bottle. And so I was looking at different glues, just trying to find the one that was going to be my permanent one. And so when I found the My Sweet Petunia glue press and it used my glue, I was excited. But I had also at that time purchased online and was waiting for it to come in a very large bottle of, um, art glitter glue because I know a lot of people use it too and so I was just going to try the to try it out as well. So this is not necessarily a review of the Nouveau glue that comes with the press, but it's a review of the press itself and the bottle. And to be completely honest, what's in my bottle now is art glitter glue. And I just did a video on how to refill one of these bottles neatly. Um, and not get glue everywhere, although I got glue everywhere on my video. Not bad, not like I would have if I had been pouring it. So if you want to check out another video of mine, um, it should be the one um, uploaded right before this one that is um, how to fill a glue bottle. So in this bottle right now is art glitter glue, and I'm not reviewing the type of glue, just this precision glue press system, which happens to use the Nouveau glue bottle, if that makes sense. So let's first talk about um, the the precision my the precision glue press itself. It comes with the handle mechanism, so you slide your glue, glue bottle in here. I have played around with some other smaller bottles that I have. I've not found anything that fit and worked. You could start, you could make some of them make do, but it you don't get the true value of the glue press out of them. So I've kind of quit trying. I. I this, I see that it fits these bottles so well, you just need to stick with those bottles. But you get the handle mechanism, and then you get the um, the base where it sits. And so it comes with, when you purchase it, it comes with one bottle full of Nouveau glue, and then it comes with an empty bottle. And the difference in the two, one, you've got two bottles now to use, and the difference in the two is the nozzles. So if you look here, this has kind of a smoky gray cap, and this one is clear. That tells you the different size of the nozzles. So I'm going to open the clear one first, and it is the smaller of the two. Try to get, at the, get this up here where it's not blurry, but you can still see it. It's a very good needle nose um, tip. And this part of the um, of the cap screws off so that you can refill it. Now, it's been a while since I've had this one off. There we go. Um, but you can screw off the cap and refill this, this bottle. So that's nice, neat, and handy. Um, inside the lid, it's the, the cute lid with the, the diamond cap. I love those. Um, inside the lid, if you can see, there is a wire. And this is a very thin wire. I'm going to say it's stiffer than some of the straight pins that I see people using in their glue bottle. It's, I actually kind of jammed it and, and it's a little wiggly at the top. But when I first got it, this was solid, steady. That makes it so easy to get back on, except for right now when I'm trying to do it on camera. It makes it so easy to get back on into that um, needle. Sorry, let me get it up here where I can see it. But it slides down, and that keeps the um, the needle nozzle from getting clogged when it's not in use. 
and I've seen I've seen caps with the wire in them, but they're flimsy wires and they're just harder to get in there. I really like this one. It's nice and stiff, and when I can get it where I can see it, it's it's real easy to get for it to slide down in that needle nose. It doesn't make it a problem at all. So that's one of the bottles that you get. The other one, identical to it, except the gray cap, smoky gray cap, and it has a slightly bigger nozzle. Let's see if I can turn that around so you can see it. Um, there we are. It's really hard to see the see the tip of it. It's mm, I've actually tried it. The other one will slip down inside of this. So if that gives you an idea of how big this one is compared to the other one, the other um, narrow needle nose tip will slide down inside this one. Um, this one again has that nice strong wire. This is more like a little spike. It's it's thicker. It's I've not <laughs> I've not messed it up, so it's in the cap really good. Um, and again, real easy to get it on since this one's a little bit bigger. Maybe I can get it without. No, nope, still gotta get it up close. Sorry to get it started. Um, it's still easy to get it on there and and get it tied in. And again, this part's unscrew so that you can. Um, so that you can uh, refill it. Just for comparison, again, these are the two that come with the My Sweet Petunia uh, Precision Glue Press. Just for comparison, this is a regular bottle of Nouveau Glue. It's the one I had and was using when I ordered this. Just to, so I can compare it for you. First of all, the neck is not as long. If you look at it, I'll put them shoulder to shoulder. Do you see, because this has the screw-on cap, it's not, um, this one is shorter, so you can see the difference in them. If I line the caps up, just to show you that it's not a difference in the caps, the caps are the same. Now, I have pulled the diamond off that when it got used in a project, but the caps are the same. The only difference is this um, removable, unscrewable neck right here. On the old one, let me set this one aside. On the old one, this part does not unscrew. So the only way to get this open, which you can, and you can refill these, um, is to pull off the little plastic like plunger on it. Okay, so there's a difference, and that will that will come into play in just a minute. And then in the lid, you don't have any kind of um, nozzle unstopper piece. So there's no wire, there's no um, spike or anything in here to help keep this open or, you know, to plug out any glue plugs, push out any glue plugs. But this bottle, the old bottles, will fit in the glue press. And I actually used the last bit of this one in the glue press. And what what really got my 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 attention you know how you always have just that little bit of glue that you can't get out because you, you've squeezed it and you can't squeeze up here at the top enough? And I just always seem to leave like a little bit of glue that gets caught up and I never can get out. With the glue press, I got this thing down to just residue. I mean, it, it emptied out 99.99%. I mean, it, I was very impressed with how much of the glue I got out of the bottle. And that was the old bottle, okay? So, um, to show you why, so you can use the old bottles in the press, but let me show you why it's not quite a good idea. This is where I misspoke in the um, first video. So, let me, it's easier if you take the lid off. Let me kind of scoot these around. Um, to put it in. And I've also learned that I like to put it where the Nouveau label is down. I don't know. It just seems to squeeze a little bit better just out of lots of trial and error. That just seems to be, sometimes I'll think, man, that's squeezing really easy. And it's usually when the label is down. Don't know if that means anything or not. But when you've got glue in this and you put it in the holder, if you look, let's see if I can get it here. There is this red stopper down here, and the the one of the features of this glue press is that red stopper bumps up against the nozzle, and it keeps the glue from coming out while it's in the stand. Now, if you can see good enough, 
the nozzle on the original glue bottles is not long enough to go down to meet that red. It's basically the difference of that neck collar on the other bottle. So you can use the glue bottles, get it in focus, you can use the old glue bottles in the press. It will put out a bead of glue. Works just fine in this instance. That's a fresh bottle, so it's coming out good and full, good and fast. But um, it works just fine in the press. The only part that doesn't work is that little red stopper doesn't meet it to be able to, to stop it up. And you can even see there's some glue in there that's, that's leaked out of this while it was upside down because it's brand new filled bottle. Actually, I think all three of these are. So um, so there's that that correction to what I'd said on the video. I said, oh, you can even use your old bottles with the press. You can, just know that it doesn't, that stopper doesn't work. I did use the rest of it. I just didn't keep it here. As soon as I was done with it, when I realized what was happening, as soon as I was done using it, I went ahead and picked it up and put the um, cap on it and didn't try to store it for any length of time in this because my glue was beginning to kind of drip out and then would clog up and, and stick in the, the cap or in the, the nose of the glue bottle. So now let's look at this one. And like I said, these are all three fresh bottles. And so I might have some oozing out of them. Um, but the, the bottles with the, that come with it with that removable, unscrewable neck fit perfectly. And when they are in there, you can see, get it up here, the tip, I think you can see that, the tip goes right down, it might be too dark, the tip goes right down against that red, okay? So you're not going to have that glue seeping out, you're not, it, it kind of seals off with it, the air in the tube, so it's not going to stick, you're going to have a nice, um, easy to use glue press, Okay. And I just wanted you to see, this is the bigger of the two. It really is leaking out. Um, this is the bigger of the two. And I wanted you to see the line that it puts down, okay? Nice, even, consistent line. Scoot that up a little bit there for you. This is really good. I like the bigger one. Um, I think it worked really well with the Nouveau Glue. Um... I think it allows it to run out easier. This is great for card making. It's good for other crafts and projects. It really does help you control your glue. Now I'm going to take this one out. And to switch them out, you just push, push on the neck and it pops out the back side. And I didn't show this part. But on the front of the holder, this little knob, this is where you can put your lid so you don't lose it. I'm constantly losing my glue glue lids or any kind of lid once I take it off. So I love that it's got this nice, neat little place to um, hold your lid while, while you're gluing. So then this one goes in. Oop, had it backwards. Slides in. And again, it touches the nozzle. The nozzle touches the red rubber. I hope you can see that. It's hard from an angle, and I'm not the best um, camera person. And this is the small one. There's glue down there from that first. Do you see that small bead of glue? Oh, my gosh. This is the one I like for card making because you can scribble a, a really fine bead of glue and get something glued down. You can go real close to the edge and not worry that you're getting too much. It's going to squish out. This fine needle nose is, is a lifesaver for me. This is the bottle I use most of the time. The bigger bottle I use more for crafts. Um, I've got a, a few um, projects I'm gonna show that um, are not card making, and I need a little bit more glue in that process to, to cover, you know, to wrap or cover things. So um, that's where I like the bigger one. Um, the, the base itself is very sturdy. It, it's got a rubber, let's see, let me, let me put this up before I get glue everywhere because that is also a, something I do quite easily. Let's get glue, glue and ink all over places. So um, the base itself is nice and sturdy. You can see I'm rubbing glue off my fingers um, from pulling glue off. 
The base is nice and sturdy. I'm trying to wiggle it and not wiggle my camera. It's hard because my camera is mounted on this little table. Um, but it, it doesn't slide. It stays right where you put it. It's got this um, rubber coating on the bottom. Really, really good made, made piece. They thought it through. The one thing it, I couldn't figure out was how do I store it? Because when you've got the lid on the glue bottle, it won't go down in there. So for a while, I couldn't figure out how to store it. I just kept laying it on its side and then I'd pick it up and I'd have to let it set for a little bit for the glue to run. I finally realized that it will balance up. If you put the red part of the handle in there, it will balance and keep the glue at a downward angle so that when you do go to use it again, it won't, uh, it doesn't take as long for uh, the glue to come down and be ready to come out. Now it's not very sturdy. If you bump it like this, when it's like this, it'll fall out. I've not had it fall out when I've when I've had the cap off and the knee, the nozzle down. I've not had it fall out of this, even when I've kind of bumped it, reaching absent absent mindedly for it, and you know not getting a good grip. Um, that has been the only learning curve. I will say, I had not gotten used to using any kind of glue stand for my bottles. So every time I used a glue bottle, I picked it up, I used it, and then I set it down you know, back the way you, the way you would um, use it. And I'd set it like this. It took me a while to remember to put this in its stand, to put this here. What I had to do was put the stand very easy in my, in my, I guess in my way so that I wouldn't, the, the only clear place I had to lay my, this glue press was where the stand was. And so it, it made me learn to put it in there. But that was just a, a muscle memory, you know, learning a new habit to, to not lay it down and to actually put it in the stand. Now that I've gotten pretty used to that, um, if I'm not using the glue press, if I'm using a small bottle or something or some other type of glue, I find myself reaching for this uh, all the time. I'll, I'll, I've, I've kind of gone to this as my natural grip to go for my glue press. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can tell you, except I really do like this. Again, back to the beads of glue. Um, I think I said it in this one. I'm very heavy handed with glue, with ink, with embellishments, with glitter. Um, I, I grew up with the more the better uh, mentality. And so you can see even that small bead of glue is has begun to dry. That's another thing. Um, the smaller the glue, the quicker it dries. The less glue, the quicker it dries. So this is perfect for card making. It dries quickly. It grabs and you can move on and, and let your paper stick. Um, the bigger bead of glue, it's still, it's there. I'm not going to touch it. But if you're working in a project where you need to be able to have some wiggle room, like you need to, if you're covering something, you want to make sure edges meet. And so you've got to try to wiggle it into place. That bigger bead of glue gives you a little bit more um, drying time, a little bit more liquid time to be able to move it, maneuver it. I, I'm just really impressed with the thought that went into the entire design of the system. Um, I've not seen any weaknesses in it. It is all plastic. It's held together with a, a metal bolt, but I think that's the only metal piece in it. Um, let me get the, the bottle out. The inside, when you squeeze the trigger, it's this me it, plastic piece that presses up against the bottle. You don't have to squeeze it very hard to get the glue to, to, to go. So it's if you've got hand issues, um, this is a this is a really good um, option for you. Mine isn't so much hand like hard to squeeze, but fatigue because I tend to do a lot of projects. Um, usually, if I'm making something, I'm making it for a bunch of people, either coworkers or family or my card club. So I'm making anywhere from ten to twenty at a time. So it's just fatigue of constantly having to squeeze that much for some of the larger projects. And so this, that's what was a lifesaver for me was just a, a gentle squeeze and being able to control the glue. Um, but it's, it's all plastic. I've not found any, like I said, any signs of weakness in it. No chipping, no damage. I have dropped it a couple times. I don't feel like anything's going to break. It's really good and sturdy plastic. Um, this piece that's pressing on it, that presses up, it's, a very smooth mechanism. It feels very tight, so I don't think it's going to loosen up. Um, 
you know, I, I just I just really can't say enough good things about it. The only thing that is different from the unboxing is one clarifying, you know, why an old glue how an old glue bottle will work and won't work with it. And then um just the learning curve of the the movement, the maneuver to put it into the press instead of lay it down. And uh, if you've used um, one of the little glue holders that a lot of people have for their bottles, um, this probably isn't going to be a big change for you. I'd not started using those. I wasn't um, wasn't used to that. I was still laying my glue bottle down. Uh, so that's why I think it was a little harder for me uh, to get used to that, that movement. But um, again, you get what you need. You get the needle nose tips with it. You get Two bottles, one full of glue, um, of the Nouveau glue, one that you can fill with your glue of choice. So even though it's kind of branded with the Nouveau glue bottles, um, you don't have to stick to that glue if you've got a favorite. And like I said, right now in my bottles is the Art Glitter Glue simply because I had ordered a big bottle of it looking for that um, refillable size that I could put into smaller bottles. And... Uh, I had had that on order when I saw this and ordered it, and, and this came in first. So I've just now recently had to fill up my bottles with um, the Art Glitter Glue. And I may glue, do a review of those types of glues, maybe the three or four most recent glues that I've been using, um, and and review the glues compared to each other, but it really has nothing to do with this precision glue press because you can use any type of glue that you want with it. So, um, I know a lot of places, one of my, my crafty friend that I talk about, um, I took this over and she used it. She saw it. She really liked it. And so she wanted it and was trying to order one. And it took her a really long time to find a place that had them in stock again because they were selling out. So I can't tell you where to go get it. I got mine off of Amazon. And um, I think I got it in possibly mid-August, mid late July, mid-August, 1st of August. And they pretty much sold out um, right after that. And I think she got hers maybe the first part of December. She finally found them in stock again. So if you're looking for them, you may have to look a lot of places. Um, but keep looking because if you're interested in them, if it looks like something you think you would like, in my opinion, I think you would. Um, I don't consider it just another, you know, uh, fad or another uh, whimsy <laughs> to, uh, fad to to my craft room, I consider it a functional and usable tool and I'm really glad I found it. So uh, if you have any questions, hit, drop them below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Um, I'd love to hear your impression of it. If you've got one, um, I'd, I'd love to hear what you're thinking about it. And I hope, um, hope this helps you somehow. So have a good day. Find some time to be creative. And as always, be good to people. Bye.